Former Governor William Milliken, generals, sergeants, and community members came to the ribbon cutting at the new Michigan National Guard Armory in Traverse City. The armory will be equipped with armed walls, dining, a gym, training rooms, and it will serve as home to more than 100 men and women in the military. This will give so many of our young men and women an opportunity uh, to pay, me, pay for college, to be uh, learning the skills uh, of being in the military. But out of all the places this armory could have been built in Michigan, what made the National Guard choose Traverse City? The decision was based on a study called Jacob's Study that looked at military presence throughout our state. One of the findings of that study said you need to have a presence in the community of Traverse City. So after several years of searching, the National Guard found this building off Carlisle Road, which used to serve as a school and a church. The building's field recruiter, who's been working in northern Michigan for more than 23 years, says it feels good to have Traverse City be a priority. Traverse City is where things are happening, and the National Guard needs to base here, so we're priority one now, and uh, this facility is just an example of that. General Vadney has high hopes for the future of this armory and believes those hopes will soon turn into reality. The unit that we're able to recruit, retain a quality soldiers to, uh, to provide uh, for our federal and our state requirements. And we know uh, that we've got a very high probability of being uh, successful and being able to recruit and retain uh, in this market.